grandmother, but my grandmother has passed. She likes to tell me the story about dinosaurs, but now I just have for good. Play Africa, our expertise is in designing exhibits and programs for children at a level that they really understand and engages them. And so working with our partners, we've come down to the Eastern Cape where there's a real dinosaur dig and we have brought a children's version of it so the children can play and get to learn about what the scientists are doing out in the field to get a sense of why this is so important and relevant for their, for their village. My job is to understand the dinosaurs of South Africa. We want to understand how these dinosaurs evolved, how big they were, how many species they were, all those sorts of biodiversity questions that we want to know today. Early on in this project, I made a commitment to the community that the lessons that we learned here from these rocks would come back to them and allow them to understand the importance of their hometown. This is where Play Africa comes in. So they'll get one of these books, okay. a mask, and the, the comic book as well. Yes, yeah. in like, how rich it is at a very young age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have one to go to, okay, and then these are what to go to again. Um, if they want to be scientists, as well, it's one day. Today marks the great day in the history of our Jogabi district and Krimiha Royval. Moweni! I'm Professor Jonah from Vitz University. I study dinosaur paleontology. And the reason that I'm here in Kameha is because you guys have the best dinosaurs in all of South Africa. So here's to you. We have various stations within the exhibit and one of them is a dig site that's divided into grids and the children get to dig through some sand which is great and tactile and then they unearth either fossilized footprints or some pretend bones and so it's a really exciting way for them to pretend that they are paleontologists. The Center of Excellence in Paleosciences support uh, research throughout South Africa and we also besides that we also support education outreach and science communication and so the very first thing is that I wanted to make sure that all three of us met together the funder Jonah as the researcher and Play Africa to make sure that we get a program that was right for for kids <laughs> Yeah, it was like a lawnmower like this. See? And then that is for the fuel of And for the white and the salad, I was sitting on the ground and I was sitting on the ground. I was sitting on the for Play Africa. Working with Play Africa on this exhibit was incredibly collaborative. It involved all the students in my lab and a great back and forth between the two groups. One of the exhibits that really caught my eye was the one based on femurs. I was excited that the team used things that I actually worked on for like the past three years. Seeing them there to scale, I was very happy. I was like, my work is here, that I get to, these specimens are from this area, and I get to work on them, and then we get to share with everyone. Another station the children have enjoyed is a fossil puzzle. So there's a cutout of a dinosaur skeleton and lots of tiny pieces that they get to try and place into that to make up the full skeleton. And in doing so, they get to understand that there's small pieces of bone that build the bigger picture. Yeah, you know, the exhibition, it was very great for Abandon to understand the environment of Salagui. 
because Jobab be is in the basic corner up at school I mean around with surroundings up. When I work busy, bad leg, what was bad leg, and there are people about study shangazo is in. So, so yen the history and tangible environment is salago. There was a little boy that came out on site. So he went here, looked at the digs, had a really exciting time, enjoyed it, and then he went to the digs and just watched us from afar. And I said, do you want to dig? And then he dug a little bit, he with the chisel to dig out a fossil, they're trying to dig out this big sauropod. And he was just really excited and he spent the rest of the afternoon with us. The goals for children around this exhibition is that we want to introduce them to paleo sciences and have them really explore this as a field, understand it, and maybe even envision themselves as future paleontologists. Human culture and human innovation started in South Africa, so we want to make sure that South Africans feel pride of their fossil heritage and history. The, the scientific goal here is to understand life in the Triassic, but the overarching goal of this mission is really to present a packet of knowledge to the next generation. I mean, my dream is one day, one of these young kids comes and knocks on my office door and says, I want to study dinosaurs with you. Or they're sitting in my office and they're training the next generation of students. 